this is a fun part of Swift, type aliases. So we've gone over some types, strings, integers, booleans, tuples, I mean, all different kinds. You can specify type aliases, which is an alternate name for one of these types. So to go to the example here, I created a type alias called string, and it's equal to a string. So now, anywhere in my code where before I was uh, using the word string, I can now use string, right? So I make a variable called dog name, and it's uh, defined as a string, which is the same as a string, right? Because here I'm saying dog name is equal to Ralph. Now, if you remember some of the naming things, this is going to get really funky. So type alias, um, we're going to make this a double. Now guess what type alias we're going to do? You guessed it, emoji. We'll use the twins, huh? Twins, double, isn't that cool? So now we can say var dog weight is of type dancing twins, right? And we'll say dog weight is equal to 34.567, whatever. Isn't that cool? So even for type aliases, you can use any Unicode character, such as dancing twins for a double. Um, I'll be honest, i have having a hard time imagining where I would use type aliases in some of my projects, um, but definitely a cool, cool feature of Swift.